Well, I'll mark out in blue first with a thin wash yeah. just over the canvas, holding my hands up in a rectangle again to look through yeah. and see where the composition comes. Yeah. And my halfway point is that sort of dark tree way over in the middle there. And my horizon line is just above halfway, so I've got a horizon line coming just sort of along here, straight away, so I know where my horizon is for a start. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Right. Yep, you do that. <laughs> Whichever you decide. Right. And then I know that that little tree I was just saying is just in the middle here. Right over, in the, that's quite a small scale, so I'm painting, because it's a small canvas today, I'm painting quite a small scale there. Yeah. And I've got my field coming up and through and out there. And to here a bit, a bit like that refraction. So just a thin, thin layer of paint just to build up my composition. Now straight away I'm going to mix up, use my larger brush, and mix up some of these lovely greys that are going on here. And for that I'm going to take some white, I'm not going to use acrylic at all today, I'm going to work directly onto the canvas. We want to get some lovely colours going. A little bit of yellow ochre, a little bit of cadmium orange, and I want to get this lovely orangey sky in here. A strange light today. So white, yellow ochre, cadmium orange today, an unusual mixture, but we just look at what's out here. Right the way through. It always looks too dark at first because of the white canvas, remember? Yeah. Right through that drawing because we can still see through the drawing. And we're going to build this up, adding a little bit more lemon yellow now. Plenty of white as a body filler. Really get some colour on. We'll come back with the blue greys in just a moment. This strange half light today. I'd have much rather have had a nice sunny day, but we'll make do. orange again, right up into here, we'll get this light, effective light, plenty of white body filler, body filler, body filler, plenty of body filler, body filler. Mm. And push the colours a bit, so get these on, quick as we can. That's staying on all right now? That's better, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you work out your composition first. So you look between your fingers and just get a nice composition first. A bit of white in there. Now the grey I need to mix as normal with my blue and my brown. So I'm going to take some ultramarine blue, a little bit of burnt sienna. It gives me a lovely, lovely grey, warm grey. Wrap that in up here. Be a bit bluer, so a little bit more, a little bit of cobalt into that. And just feather it in. Now a little bit of cerulean blue. These are falling the skin already, some of Start to find the colours. I start to find the the warms and the cools now. It's like the pinker colours. Really, really look for colour up here. Some more purpley blue kind of turps into it. A lighter blue again. I'm going to go back to my yellow ochre white. Start to play some of these lighter bits between the clouds. Just a bit more. Add a bit more warmth, just a touch of warmth into that background. More pinks going on back there. There's a sort of silvery pink going on, so we'll take some cerulean blue, a little bit of rose and white, and we'll find... My sky looks like a bush. Back here. 
here. I need to work down to the horizon and uh, I want these blue greys along the back of the horizon. So a similar colour to the clouds but a little bit more cobalt blue into the brown. A touch of turps just to get it working along there. And it's obviously a little bit darker than... It blows on. Yep. Hopefully it'll stay over there. Right now I want to start working, before I work any more detail and I need to start working in my sorry, my greens into the background and it's we didn't need to get rid of this white canvas so quickly. A bit of emerald green, a bit of yellow ochre to deaden it back a bit, warm it up a bit. Come back here. Now I want to whip in some basic greens for the whole of this base just to get it covered. So I'm going to take some of my emerald again, more yellow ochre still, make it quite warm, a little touch of burnt sienna into it. Really mix up quite a lot to whack in here and put the lighter colours over later and just texture up, get rid of all of this white canvas as fast as I can to build up a bit of Come into it. Good. Well, I'll come back here if we get another nice day, but mm. if, if this in the blue, it would be so different. It would be quite nice to have two paintings done of the same scene, yeah. but on different days. Yeah. And if you come back in the snow and do it. <laughs> well, I don't think Hoppy's just over here then. <laughs> into this. Put stronger and stronger colours in. There's really lovely warm yellows and things into here. And up by these houses here. Is that the cadmium? Oh, that one. That's cadmium red, that's cadmium orange. Oh, it's yeah. almost the same. Dog. Has she ever done that? Not this one. My other Labrador went past a palette of paints and got Prussian blue on its tail. Oh, right. And decided to decorate at wall level, <laughs> wagging its tail all the way around in a band. It took a bit of sorting out afterwards. Cool reds, as we say. Nice big slabs at the front, like I say, and you know, work them. Um, nice free strokes with it, with it, with a little flat brush. And, uh, they're not all little tulips. Uh. But 
still not moulding. You've got to find the individual flowers a bit more in the foreground. They're much, much bigger in the foreground. I don't think we're going to get much longer. The light really is going. now yes done for the moment have we yeah.